a lot of video games, even though they are violent, um, they, they are action focused, a lot of people who's making these games today are trying to touch the player. Um, and they study kind of, they, they're, they're learning techniques from the film industry. At the same time, nobody else is doing, you know, like a game that kind of evokes similar feeling to a romance movie, to a documentary, you know. And all these other emotional spectrum is not fulfilled in games right now. Games are in a state as if the, the movie industry had only been making action films up to this point. So right. if you went out on the street and asked people, do you like movies? Uh, some people would like them, but other people just wouldn't like them in mm -hmm. general. Uh, and, and I just want to get to a point where I can sit down and instead of saying, am I in the mood for a game? I can just say, well, what kind of game am I, am I in the mm -hmm. mood for? And you can clearly sense the change and the evolution of these game makers every year. Like I remember on 2004, all these independent you know, artists who are making games by themselves they are kind of complaining how there's no place for them to release the game and how, how bad these publisher was you know, for selling the game, basically. Mm -hmm. But now, if you look at this year, like half of our independent game developer friends has already released their game on the console, on Xbox, on PlayStation 3, and a lot of them start releasing games on PC, you know, publishing by themselves, which, you know, Five, four or five years ago, it's just considered as you know, impossible. Yeah. I think this is like the greatest time for you know, like small team and independent artists to you know, make great things and put them out and share with the world.